That was a great speech right now. If anybody in the room fits that job description, please stop by our booth. We're probably going to hire you. That was great. Um, yeah, my name is Michael. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about transactional monitoring, essentially. So I don't want to brag a lot about app dynamics and what we do best and uh, why we are great, but really what is the missing piece in terms of monitoring in the Cloud Foundry stack. So what we are ultimately all up to is that, or you are up to, is you're providing services for your customers. Those applications consist of different features. Um, people logging in, people buying stuff, people making insurances, or whatever they do. Those features have to be built. This, is, uh, this was very simple in the past. It has grown a little, a little bit more complex. We have microservices. We have agile development. We want to build and ship fast. We want to fail fast. Um, the thing is that you have to cope with all that complexity. And you have to meaningfully monitor that kind of complexity. And that's where we want to help you guys. Um, because the traditional approach we usually see within large org organizations is that you have, uh, in, in terms of monitoring, you have a lot of stacks, a lot of silos around. You monitor your infrastructure, of course. Uh, you monitor log files. That's the most common thing you do when troubleshooting application problems. You pile through a lot of log files. Challenge is now, if you have a large and complex application with lots of microservices, how you want to follow through one, trend, one specific transaction. You pile in the GUID, and you follow that GUID through the log files from application part A to B to C to D. And at the end of it, you're really having a hard time troubleshooting your problem or identifying your problems. Um, the thing is that during all these different silos and stacks of monitoring, it does not necessarily reflect the end user experience. So if you're operating system uh, is out of resources or something like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is affected by that. So really, giving you the end-to-end -end context, that's about the beauty. That's, about, that's all about monitoring we want to we deliver you. And what we and uh, the other application performance management vendors do is we want to give you really the possibility to tag and trace all transactions through your whole application stack across different technologies without changing, altering anything of your code. Really, by dynamically instrumenting your applications, following them through the stack um, during these, uh, all these different technologies, uh, and learning the behavior of your, of your application. Because if somebody logs in Monday morning in a banking application and checks his account balance, that might be um, a, very, a, very, uh, a very good time or a, a very high load time. So it might be a little bit slower, and the system has to learn that. And the system doesn't have to, let's say, just put in thousands of alarms out to, um, um, to, have, to have alarm storms there. It has to learn the behavior over a week, over a month, um, and has to baseline the stuff and give you meaningful alarms. It's really about following all your transactions through the systems, tagging them, tracing them, and really rooting you through the problem if a problem happens. Because what we tend to see is that sometimes when you have an agile application, you, um, you have a new build, not necessarily at that build something fails or in that component something fails, but it has more of a domino effect, a butterfly effect. At some later point in time, it fails. And that's what we want to deliver you or um, give you the possibility to troubleshoot with transactional monitoring. Um, if you're interested, just give it a go. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to uh, create a user-provided service, bind it to your app, restage the app, try it out. If you're interested in more information, we got a booth out there on the far left-hand side. Just stop by and now enjoy your coffee. Thanks.